Why, hello, my friends, and welcome back to another beautifully polygonal day here on my procedurally generated super mega biome Minecraft server. It's a little uh, foggy today, a little dampness in the air, as you can see, you know, but I kind of like that. I, uh, if you haven't heard or haven't been watching long, I actually, in real life, live in the desert valley of Phoenix. It's a basin, and it's uh, not high plains desert, it's low plains desert, so it's kind of arid most of the time. And when it's like this in Phoenix, it is beautiful, and it kind of, well, I guess it would look kind of look like those mesas over there. Let me go back up there and take a look at them. <laughs> well, we're not quite this colorful. But we do have some nice uh, ranges and things. Maybe up towards Sedona you'll see some really, really nice stuff. Uh, but there it's a little bit chillier. But here in the valley, when it looks like this, it feels like really nice. And the temperature's just right. Oh, it makes you want to take a, a nap. You get a little drowsy. But uh, we have gone ahead, and I say we, I have gone ahead and removed all of the bamboo. And not removed, excuse me, but harvested the bamboo, the sugar cane. I say bamboo, long-time viewers know why. And I've put it into the collection system there. I've gone ahead and harvested the trees, and I've rotated the cows. And one of my sheep got out of his pen, but that's not really relevant. Last time, we spent the entire episode trying to load the iron farm. And man, oh man, was cutting through the nether getting to be problematic. It would crash left and right and sideways and upways and... That was not a fun time at all, but now, now I have taken the time to get it all done, and by all I mean loading all of the villagers into these little villager hoppers around the side. Oh, I might not be able to see it from here, but yes, trust me, he is down in there. I'll give you a quick peek of what's down below here. Oh yes, very wisely, I capped off the lava with uh, some dirt, and what we're going to do here is... Get water flowing here. Then I'm going to go down below and get water flowing down there. I'm going to need a block there. I'm going to need three of those. And then once the water is kind of flowing, I'm, I'm going to start from here and go all the way around. And then finish up this last section lastly. <laughs> so that I can put the block back down there. And then I'll come out and get rid of all of the dirt scaffolding. And hopefully by then, we'll get a golem to start spawning. The only reason those dirt blocks are there, by the way, is because I needed uh, I needed to have some way to go back and forth. Man, that's just enough, isn't it? Just enough. Alright, so let me go ahead and put this up and bring this down. And I'll show you what we're talking about. We're going to make a whole bunch of infinite water supplies here. Alright. And I might as well start there and there. And as you can see, that became infinite. So now we can just kind of Go along the edge here and do this all the way around the edge. And then when we get to the corners, boom, up there. All right. And then we're going to do it again here. And just keep going all the way around. So the first part is finished. The water is in, and man, does it look dark. I probably should have put some lights up in here. Maybe those glowstones, and maybe I still will. Maybe I'll go up and about. But as you can see, while the water is in and flowing, and everything is going towards the middle. Just like it needs to. Excellent. Now to go down to the bottom layer. Haha. <laughs> And let me go ahead and refill my buckets so I have water with which to do that. And let's cap this guy off now so that we don't have to worry about it later. Looking good. All of these half slabs are non-spawnable. All of the water is non-spawnable. So this should be a relatively safe space. And now that I look at it, maybe I want it to be that dark. Or maybe I don't. Man, I maybe should have put in some glowstone, uh, little stalactite type things. Because this is, what, one, two, and then my head would be the layer where the where they would be. So technically, I could put like little glowstone stalactites floating in here. Maybe I'll do that when we come back. But let me drop down here and do the layer down here next. My friends, I sat there for far too long before I remembered one vital bit of information when it comes to building <laughs> villages upon which the iron farm is based. The math for villages require 
that there be an uneven amount of exposure to skylight from the doors, right? So that there's an inside and an outside to the actual building. So what I'm going to need to have to do is provide skylight to the doors at some point. So if they're here, and this is all covered that way. Oh, boy. I'm in it now, aren't I? Everything. Oh, boy. Everything is covered that way and that way and beyond that way. If I open up one light here, it should make it so that, you know, this side has the uneven light, especially if I do it all the way up. So what I'll do is I'll dig up a hole all the way to the top just in this one line. And we'll see. Maybe that's how I'll get it done. Oh, boy. But uh, that's going to be a little bit of work, so... <laughs> Give me a second to get to work on it, would you? All right, I'll be right back. All right, my friends, welcome back. What I have decided to do is dig holes straight down into the corners of each corner of the iron farm, as you can see. And now I'm going to just kind of excavate a straight line all the way, or a cube, not a cube, but the outline of a triangle. A triangle? <laughs> the outline of a square and uh, try to encapsulate the whole thing, right? So we're going to go s as slow as I need to to make sure I don't fall down in there. And in a little bit... Oh, I'm going to need a shovel again. But in a little bit, what's going to happen is I'm going to go pick up some glass and some green dye. And I'm just going to kind of fill this section in here with green dye. Not green dye, but green glass. So that the glass is uh, kind of inobtrusive. And... You know, I'll dig down here. Yeah, that'll all be green also. Uh, this needs to go here as well, which is kind of unfortunate. Oh, that's a shovel needing thing anyways. Uh, but uh, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to kind of remove this whole outline of a square. I presume it's a square. <laughs> it's definitely a rectangle, but uh, we're going to go ahead and take care of that now, and then I'll come back and show you as soon as the glass is ready. We'll put that in, and we'll start digging down. And once I get down towards the bottom, that's when I'll pick it back up with you again. Hey, gang, I just thought I'd show you real fast what I was talking about when I said I was going to put this glass at the block layer. So what, this is the layer that has been excavated. So I'm going to replace them all appropriately. Boop. Boop, boop. And to go from here, I'm just going to use uh, gr uh, green here all the way around, regardless of whether or not it's, like, in that, whether or not it matches with that. Like, for example, I have some stone that's coming up here pretty soon that's going to be like that. Uh, that's going to go there, et cetera, et cetera, right? So you see what's going on. So I'm going to go ahead and, well, i got to make sure I can get out of here. <laughs> oh, not that way I won't. I'm going to go ahead and continue with this, and we'll come back once I actually do have it down to the point where you're going to be able to break through and actually have sunlight down there where the village is, and we should start seeing some villagers spawn, right? So that's what I'll do. I'll go get that stuff ready, and I'll pick you up here at that next cut. Welcome back, my friends. I am just wrapping up the last of the dig out here for this square that I'm trying to make open to the sky and as I'm coming around the corner I'm wondering if I should have done it on the outside and the more I think about it the more I think the answer to that question is yes but I'm gonna go ahead and finish this out anyways and see if my luck's gonna hold out tonight and uh, see if I can actually get it to start spawning some iron golems if not I it will be as I suspect I suspect <laughs> that the doors are covered by the floor of the spawning and vanquishing chamber already. Sorry, it got all dark in there. So those might already be covered, whereas the spaces outside of the spawning area of the village are not. This area out here is where I probably should have put this ring. And uh, we'll see. You know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm going to get lucky here, but I'm pretty sure that I am right. And uh, I've never been more frustrated to be right well, that's not true. I can be pretty frustrated sometimes. I have to be careful here. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and get this guy and this guy. Because once I fall down, I won't be able to get back up onto these things. I'll actually have to come through the center again. All right. And boop. There you go. So there's that. And now we've got some 
Morning light coming in. Right? It actually looks pretty cool up here. I kind of like this with this. Oh, wow, man, this is going to look good. Whatever I get figured out here, and like I said, I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to have these things uh, popped open so that the doors will have an uneven amount of open skylight. But, hmm, man, oh, man. Okay, so in concept, this looks pretty good here. I like the look. Wow, this does look nice. I'm going to have to have... I had removed one of those blocks there because I was thinking about having an uh, observational path here. I think this looks really cool. You know. Wow. Okay. But let me go show you what it looks like up on top with the green blocks so we can have at least proof of concept. I like this uh, for what we've got here. It didn't take too long compared to other things I've done. <laughs> so I wouldn't mind, I don't think, just going out and expanding my dig by, you know, two squares on all four sides, so I guess yeah, eight squares. But, hmm, yeah. I mean, uh, we know it's there. Looks looks okay there. Oh, I could, didn't even really notice it there. I see it there. Okay, so it looks... It blends in pretty well. And as you can see, I didn't put it from high ground to low ground. I only did it where I there were two blocks of the same height, right? That would have been a weird one to put, so I just left it alone. And then over here, this thing, I'll probably weather it down a little bit. And by weather it down, I mean remove completely. Uh, just because it's not going to look right now. When it was generated, it looked pretty cool. I liked the idea of it. Hello, big fella. But uh, we're going to... Yeah, let's get back to that later. I'm double-checking to make sure I've got it all the way around. Now, this one kind of looks a little weird because it pops out sideways like that. This one did not because of the way it came right to the edge of that stone. So maybe I'll just kind of... Hmm, I don't know what I'm going to do there. I do not know. Maybe build another stone structure here. But even that doesn't look too out of place, right? So we'll go see if this works. I don't think it will. I'll probably have to expand it out to here by here. Right? Let me go ahead and mark these corners. Uh, but, you know... <laughs> That is what it is. All right, so let me go see if it works. I don't think it's going to. <laughs> and uh, I'll get right back to you guys. Well, gang, I have discovered that the inner ring of the square, the inner square ring, if you will, <laughs> was not going to work. I presume for the reasons I presumed, but I haven't. Uh, I'm so confident in it being the reason that I do not feel like discovering whether or not I was right about it being the reason. It's not that relevant to me. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and put the outer square, which should create a definitive difference between the two, creating an inside and an outside. And that should, in one felled swoop, create the village and then hopefully start spawning some iron golems. All right, so here we come are coming around, and I I don't know what I'm going to do with the other ring inside. I'll probably woo. I'll probably put almost fell again the glowstone in to kind of give it a look, and uh, maybe I'll do something with this. I don't know. I mean, it's kind of problematic to do so. All right, here we go. Oh, uh, oh, speaking of problematic, all right. So now, man, that looks pretty nice. Now we have this. Gets rid of some of this here. Can I get to that one. Get to that one. Yep, can I get to this one? That one's going to be a little more difficult. Yep, got it. All right, so I think this looks pretty good. I like the fact that, yes, 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 all of these should create a different light level against these doors than the ones. All right, cool. So it should start spawning iron golems. Again, that is a tight fit over there. Oh boy, I don't like that. But that is what it is. The inner ring... Oh man, do I still have it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I still have it. I need to do something with. So, let me go ahead and pillar up there. And see what I'm going to do. Hmm. Alright gang, I've just come back and uh, put in this little observational bridge here. I'm going to want to use it because, man, oh man, does this place look beautiful. I like it a lot. I went ahead and uh, infilled 
the inner ring with uh, glowstone. There's some gaps in there. Mobs could have spawned, so I figured I'd just put a light source down at the bottom. So, <laughs> And then why not? Two birds with one stone, right? So this looks pretty nice during the day, as you can see. And it actually looks really nice at dusk, too, and dawn. It looks like it's starting to change now. This is awesome. I'm going to come back here in just a second and do a little brief time-lapse thing to let you get a look at what that looks like through the light cycles outside. Now, what I did here was kind of give it an idea to myself. If I were to tunnel it out a little bit so that it had some space to see it, and I would maybe do it all the way up, you know, so that, like, more of this is obser observable as you're coming in because it really does look good, I think. And then that way I could also have little platforms over here. This is a, a mistake block, but I think I might actually remove those stair bits and do something so that it has a defined two-way path, you know. But from I like having the open one down here. So just having that one square... Yeah, maybe I'll just get rid of this guy, actually. Um, boom, I'll just get rid of him for now. So, yeah, that should work. I mean, how many... E I don't need safety here. <laughs> Down here, I got a little squid guy, right? So he's kind of swimming around. Who knows what's going on there? Uh, all of this is fine the way it is, but if I ever get this thing to work, and we'll see if it works. If uh, during the time I was doing anything, this is the most likely. Let's see. Man, there's nothing in that one. How about over here? Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, yeah. So it is working. Uh, I want to get the first row lined up with poppies, and then I'll put... You know, the iron ingots in here so that it'll fill the way it needs to. But yes, all right, that's awesome. So, all right, let me go up to the top here and set up my camera, and we'll do a little time lapse of what it looks like throughout the different cycles. Like, see, if I could have taken a picture of it from back here, it might have been a little bit better. But let's, let's go ahead and see what it looks like, how the lighting affects things <laughs> as things go through their cycle. All right, here we go. And I'm going to start things off by just in the morning. So it brightens up pretty good. Then by about midday, you're looking at about like this. And then it starts to get dark again. I do think it looks pretty good. I think it does. Yes, I do. But I think this looks pretty good also. This is the uh, section here. I'm, the walls, uh, it's kind of taking me out of it, you know. I might have to pillar up and put some stone in here. Uh, not all of it, but, you know, I'll leave the dirt layers, I suppose, but maybe I'll go do that. I don't know. It's kind of driving me crazy, but that, uh, I think it looks pretty good checking things out through here. But, uh, overnight now I've gone and, uh, given it about 10 hours, I would say, of time. Uh, my power went out, albeit so briefly. It was almost, it was more like a brownout, but, uh, I have my computer set up so that it doesn't go out anyways. Or so that it doesn't crash. It, uh, powers down whenever there's a, a, a discrepancy as quickly as possible and then powers off. Uh, let's see what we've got here. So 10 hours. Hopefully something's in here. There is. Awesome. Wow, that's actually quite a bit for 10 hours. Um, all right, cool. That might be way more than I need, you know what I mean? And let's try this one over here. Awesome, awesome. This is uh, working out pretty good, so... Sweet, sweet, sweet. And now the big payola. Let's see what we got here. Oof. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good, too. Uh, this is as expected, though. Yeah, I mean, the others were that much, so this one was going to be that much. Now to fill these up. So two stacks for every uh, half stack. So I'll probably need... Maybe we'll need that many. Now let's do it like this for now. And we'll go from there. So we're, they're all set up to receive all the poppies. The poppies will fill in from the top and the iron will fill in here. So it'll be organized. So awesome, awesome, awesome. That worked out all right for me. It's nice and bright outside. Sorry, I got a little jittery there. Uh, but while I'm looking up the stairs, this is as good a time as any to say, check out my new iron armor, right? I didn't put a chest piece together because I figure I'm going to... Doesn't it look snazzy? I figure I'm going to go uh, over to the village and get a leather piece that has some prot gear on it and stuff like that. But uh, no, this is the this is not armor iron armor from this dispensary here. It uh, was uh, crafted earlier in the time, but I think I look pretty good. So now I got an armor set. I got an armor farm, an iron farm. And I'm good to go for a while. So next up... Oh, look, and we see it in action! That's right. 
Yes, just like that. My friends, I hope you've enjoyed this. And if you have, please do give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content like this in the future from time to time I do build things, then by all means do please consider subscribing to this channel for more content like this. I will be exploring next episode. We're going to go check out the southeast region over by the spider farm area that I started a while back. I'm going to continue that path out there. I'm going to go take a peek around and see what things look like. So if you want to see that, by all means, subscribe and come back and check it out. Until next time, however, thank you very much for watching. My name is JC. It's been my pleasure, and I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye-bye.